Okay, I just want to do a video of a cold start. As you can see, the uh, it's cold. <laughs> it's been sitting overnight. Got a brand new battery. You can see the um, charge on it. Sitting overnight, almost 13 volts. not overly loud still has a nice note at higher higher RPM Do a quick video of a warm up. So you know, idle's fine. Runs really well. Um, I had already replaced the front tire on it. The uh, the rear one's still good. The front one's a battle axe. Um, this is a Rossi. I believe it's a Rossi two. Um, as you can see, it still has plenty of tread, but I, d I have a matching, um, I think it's a S22 model battle axe for the rear. Um, it's got a new rotor and pad for the rear. Uh, the fronts um, are just the pads. The rotors are still good. Oil's been done. The... Um, I had cleaned and greased the uh, chain. And um, the cam chain and guides have been done. Um, it does consume a little oil. It's not burning it. It's actually, um, I, I ordered a new breather seal that goes in here. And this is a, a rotary or centrifugal um, crankcase breather that goes up to the throttle body. This hose goes up to the throttle body. So about the only thing it needs now. Otherwise, I mean, it's it's perfectly rideable, but it just it consumes a little bit of oil. Um, so it's not a big deal. So um, otherwise, I mean, the uh, the suspension um, is really tight. It's good for if you want to take the corners fast. Um, the seals have been done for the forks. It's fully adjustable. Um, it has all the preload and uh, damper or whatever settings um, up here as well as on the bottom. Same, same thing uh, for the rear. Um, it has been upgraded with this race tech, um, whatever, um, adjustable suspension. There's adjustment underneath as well. And I just got it adjusted for, my weight is about 190. And so I like it kind of stiff because I like to take the corners fast. Um, 
I'm not too crazy on the corners, as you can see the wear. I don't, I don't take it fully to the lip. I don't take a full lean. So I mean, I just you know ride it for fun, not racing. <laughs> so um, and it has this uh, a, a Delkevic um, slip on. So I like it, but you know you can do something else if you prefer a different pipe. The um, the um, whatever the header or exhaust. I believe that the piping itself is stock, but the slip-on, of course, is aftermarket. And I don't have the uh, the stock muffler. Um, but other than that, I mean, it runs really well, has plenty of power, um, and there's no leaks at all on anything. Brakes work really well. Um, the rear, these these models are known to have really weak rear. Um, brake, so that's why I replaced the rotor, the new pad, so it works a lot better. And then I adjusted the uh, pedal up a little more so you have more leverage. So, uh, and the clutch, the clutch is really good, no slippage or nothing. Smooth transitions, no mischief. Uh, and all these decals here, all this stuff, it comes off if you just want a plain blue. It was just a personal touch I wanted to do, just to, you know, add some contrast and color to it. And then I put on these little bar-in mirrors. And I put the caps here. You can put in screw-in mirrors if you want to do those. Um, and then, you know, if you want different grips. And I put in this crossbar to help a little bit more in vibration on the bars. And then this little phone holder just comes off. The site being 21 years old, it, it runs and uh, rides very, very well, handles very well.